Hey guys, James here today, and welcome back to another room build video. Today, I thought we'd make a bunker. Like a little safety room, like a bomb shelter, I guess is probably a better way to, to describe it, actually. Let's make a bomb shelter. So, I mean, that is very basic. We're just going to do a rectangle. You know, nothing too special with the shape. Uh, then we're going to do a door, a bomb shelter door, I guess. This kind of looks like a reinforced door, so that makes sense. A little bit of get to work in there. Alright, so, I mean, we, it's going to be a room. Uh, I mean, ideally, you're going to be using this as like a basement. Uh, so we could even build it as a basement, but I don't really want to. So let's just go upstairs. I, I don't know. I, I like looking at the world, the world around me. But yeah, so I mean, ideally, we're designing this as a basement. So there's not going to be any windows. Uh, it's a bunker after all. I mean, if you had windows, if a, or a bomb shelter, if a bomb went off and the glass shattered in your face, that probably wouldn't be too good. So, you know, uh, we're going to make this a, uh, a windowless box of hell. Uh, let's go for some nice concrete walls. Probably something like this. Some concrete slabs. I mean, I, I guess ideally, you probably, probably just want a solid piece of concrete. Uh, but I don't even think there is... Like, that's not concrete. I don't even think there is just, like, a concrete texture for a wall. I know there is a floor, obviously. There's, like, 50 of them. But I don't think there is just a wall concrete. What is this? That's just a hideous green thing. Uh, what about that? What is this? Stony Brook, or B Brook, if I could speak properly. Uh, all right, well, that's not what I'm after. There's more of those tile things. Uh, they, they look a little bit more gritty. I like these ones a little bit more. Uh, I think they're even darker than that. Why is there, like, red in between? It's like a weird pinkish red color in between. I don't know. I think I like those ones better than the other ones. They look, yeah, they look a little bit more, a little bit more, I don't know, effective. I'll do the same on the outside, just because. There you go. Uh, I wish there was like a, a grey door. Like a, a like a dark door, but I don't think there is. And I don't think there's any other any other door that would appropriately fit that looks like it would uh, be sort of a secure door. Except for the double door. Oh, uh, actually, you know what? I say that and I totally forgot about this door. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Just, just let me... There you go. There you go. That's a, that's a secure door. Now, does this have a... Oh, that has a black version. But also a probably grey version. Oh, is it more of a, oh, I don't know. Anyways, let's make this a little bit wider just because I want it to be in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go in a little bit though. I want it to be like there. So it's gonna come in. And go like that. And then go like that. And then go like that. And there goes my door. So keep the door, put the door there, remove that, put the door back. Alright. That's much more secure. Well, I mean, it just looks more like a door that you would have on a bomb shelter, right? Or a panic room, I guess. I mean, it, it, this, this room is really what you want it to be. Uh, it's really what you want it to be. But we're going to make it a survivalist's room. You could do everything you need in here. Except, I don't think it should have a toilet. Would it have a toilet? I mean, I don't think it would. Would it? I don't even know. But at the back, I want to do like a... Give me like the store area. This is where all the shelving will go. Maybe, maybe like that would be better. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Or maybe, is it like a rusted version? That'd be good. That's not rusted. That's brown. Is that rusted? No, it just looks golden. Looks beautiful and, and luscious. No, that's too light. And that's, no, that, let's go this one then. Oh my god. No, that's gross. Alright, let's just go with the black one. <laughs> that's fine. Okay. So that's like the store area where they can go, uh, like put all their... The dried food and all that kind of stuff in there. So we're going to get a bunch of shelves back here, of course. Oh, no. I made the window smaller. Why do I always do that? Make it bigger. There we go. Good. Uh, <laughs> sorry. A deco no, not decorations. We want to go to surfaces and uh, miscellaneous because we want these ones, obviously. Now, is there an appropriate color? Yeah, let's go with the black ones. Sick. Uh, if we go like this and then like this. Then we get loads of stuff in here. Now let's just place them like this. Because I think if we if we budge them together, we can probably get a third one just. Let's see. If we budge this to the wall, then we budge this one also to the wall. And then we budge you along. And then you along. It's a little bit tight. That's what she said. Uh, it's going to go to there. Just straight into the wall. Yeah, no, I'm happy with that. Okay, so we got a bunch of shelving at the back. We'll decorate those as the time comes. Um, 
I mean, yeah, I, I, would you have... I just, I don't know if you would have... That's kind of cool, actually. But we, you definitely need, like, a, a workbench kind of thing, right? What is this? Test tube. Oh, that's just turning into some other type of chamber. Uh, <laughs> turning into a much less appropriate type of chamber. Um... I like those, but no, we, we need to get the, the, the woodworking table for sure, because that's something I feel like you'd have in here. It's just like a little workbench, that's all. I don't know, just in case. Just in case you need to make stuff. Uh, I guess you should probably have a little kitchenette thing. I mean, this isn't supposed to be like a one-bedroom apartment, but it's supposed to be like a, a fallout shelter, I guess you could call it. Should we get that bed, or should we go for... Nah, let's go with this, because I feel like if we're already using get-to-work stuff, we should just use more get-to-work stuff. Uh, rather than introducing outdoor retreat stuff. There you go. That's nice. Maybe get... Um, maybe we get a bed over here. Maybe over there. And then like a, a nice... A, a little bit of a drab sofa over here. Just so you can... You know, somewhere to sit. Okay, can't change the color. Why is my color... Oh, did I already place it? Is that why? Oh yeah, okay. Just so, you know, somewhere to sit. I guess it's gonna have to be green. Somewhere to sit uh, and enjoy life. You know, the the life after nuclear fallout. Uh, if we go, hang on. There's gonna be a better way to organize this. Maybe the bed goes, I guess, no, I guess it will go there. Uh, that'll go there. And then we should get a, where are the, where are the lockers? They might be good. I was about to say might and may, and I said might be good. What do all the tall cabinets look like? Because there's probably going to be a good tall cabinet. No, I don't want fine china in my tall cabinet. <laughs> What's in this one? Yeah, see, that kind of looks like you have food supplies and stuff in it, which is cool. Uh, which should really go at the back. But then we already have shelves. So I don't know. Maybe we don't need that. No, let's not do that. Uh, I feel like we do need, like, maybe, maybe we should just make it into, like, a... Little shelter. Nothing, nothing too fancy. Should be like the spare fridge down here, because you you feel like you're never gonna you're never gonna use it. So like, why would you invest money in it, right? So you get your spare fridge in the spare oom, and your spare counter. That's really ugly. I mean, it's not, again, then again, it, yeah, again, it's not supposed to be pretty. So I don't know why I'm I don't know why I'm so like, ooh, it doesn't look very nice. But then. It's supposed to have that sort of gritty charm to it. It's not supposed to look nice, but it's not supposed to be ugly. Like, it's supposed to be like a shelter. Um, a little crate here, because, I mean, I wouldn't use that. A little apple crate. It's beautiful. Uh, uh, you can have a little bit. Someone can have a rest at a time. One person can go there. Uh, what else would you need? I mean, do I want to? I, I don't. I still don't know if I want to do like a toilet or something in here. I mean, it's not a jail cell, but it's like, if you're held up in here and you need to go to the toilet, what are you going to do? Call Ghostbusters? No, Ghostbusters aren't going to help you out in this situation, are they? So you're going to need to go to the toilet. So, I mean, I guess we're going to have to do a toilet. <laughs> I just don't know. What if we move that there? Move the bed. I don't know. I'm trying to set it up in a way that we can have stuff in the middle of the room. And I get like the toilet over there. There's at least, at least a little bit of privacy. Uh, and then and then if we use a sink, well, because the toilet doesn't need a sink. Oh, actually, no, maybe we will do a freestanding sink because then they can use this sink uh, to do the washing up as well. It's not as not as uh, drab as I would like it to be though. Really, there's not one that matches the toilet. All right. Is there a toilet that matches that? More or less. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, okay, so that'll be like that. And then the bed, let's, hang on, let's move that work table. Let's just move that out of here. So this is going to go to there. The little crate will be there. The sofa will go sort of in the middle-ish of the room. Or maybe we put it at the back of the room. So like there. And then you got a fridge and a counter. There's no, there's nowhere to cook though. Hmm. But I've, I've, I don't feel like it should be a stove. It should be, you need like a little camping thing, right? He sent me to camp on. Not like that, but like... Uh, where is the... Uh, I like that, that's kind of cool. Yeah, survival gear. Oh, you can't put it on any of the shelves? Well, that's ridiculous. I'll make it work. 
I said, I'll make it work. I do not have. I thought I had move up. No, move up. Oh, I thought I had it on. Move up. Reeks on. Why can't I move this up? I said, I'll make it. You really can't move this thing. Oh, no, it is moving up. Is it? Wait, hang on. Oh, I see. Because it's snapping underneath the. Uh, okay. There's like a snap point under it for some reason, which is interesting. Um, no, no, no. I want it to. Okay. Why does it want to place underneath there? Just go on top of them. All right, never mind. No, I want to get the, um... Where's the... The campfire from Outdoor Retreat? It must be like activities or something, right? I have no idea. But then, no, why would I want a campfire? That makes no sense. <laughs> no, what I really want is like one of those little camping stoves. Like that you would use in the real world, you know? You go out and have a camping stove. Uh, essential gaming table. We can do like a... A poker table. <laughs> That can be like the dining table. Have a little poker table. I wonder if they can actually eat on this. Probably not. Oh, then I mean, they could sit. If they could sit in the chairs, they could at least eat. Then maybe some of these chairs. Post apocalyptic chairs. There you go. <laughs> they put their they put their finest chairs down here. <laughs> oh dear. There you go. Nah. Well, we don't. I don't think we need four. Let's just go with two. Like that. No room to cook, so you're just gonna have quick meals. You have like your have you you have all your powdered all your powdered meals. Okay. Uh plenty of room for activities in the middle of the room. But I feel like there should be something there. I think books would be a good idea. Get a bookcase over there. Uh something like that. Uh, I guess like that. Little bookcase. Alright, so then um I mean, what else do you need in here? What what else would you need if you're in here? You got a toilet, so you can go you can go to the toilet. You can't shower though, but you can wash up in the sink, so that's fine. Uh, I don't even know if Sims can do that, but I'm I'm talk just talking about in real life. If you actually did need to be in here, you can just wash up in the sink. You can entertain yourself with uh, tools, making stuff. There you go. Put it about there. Um, and then we just need to get lots of decorative items to fill out the shelves, like all your storage items. All your, all your food and all that. Uh, what are items? So we need, I don't mean, I want some sporting equipment. <laughs> I mean, they, they haven't used this place in years, so they're just like, oh, let's just dump all our junk down here. That'll be a good idea. When will we ever need to uh, use the, the bomb shelter? Never, they thought. Boy, were they wrong. When the nuclear war started, they were very wrong. How come nothing places on these shelves? They're so like... They're so big, but nothing places on them. I mean, everything snaps down the bottom too. It's really annoying. Just place on top of the shelves. There you go. No, that's in front of it and very high. No, doesn't want to... It can go there. <laughs> Alright, so... Using these shelves may have been a bad idea. They look good, but I don't think anything goes on them. Okay, there's some gardening tools. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. I mean, yeah. You know, of, of all the things that we could possibly need, we have our gardening tools at the ready. And how about a box of tissues? Oh, good. We've got a box of tissues too. I have some just for me bath essentials. Fantastic. How about a box of files? No, we can get a box of files underneath though. So that's good news, I guess. A box of cereal. See, that's like perfect. But then I then I should start using outdoor retreat stuff. I don't want to use this one thing. Uh, is there more? Is there more types of boxes of cereal? Oh, there's only one, man. Oh, man. How about some sauce? There you go. They're running low on supplies. This appears because there's barely anything there. How about a cookie jar? There you go. Who took the cookie from the cookie jar? Not me. How about a pile of laundry too? There you go. Oh, a bin might be useful. Nah, they don't need a bin. They just chuck it on the floor. Whatever stays in, well, whatever's in here stays in here because it's not coming out. There's nowhere for it to go. There you go. A little bit of stuff down there. Uh, some. Yeah, I guess we should check the books in the bookcase. That would make more sense. Hmm. What else could you need? How about some shoes? <laughs> How about some shoes underneath? There you go. I mean, what? At the end of the day. I don't have a lot of experience with the uh, bomb shelters myself. 
So I'm sure you can let me know what I've done wrong. Uh, but I'm doing my best, so that's all that matters. <laughs> and my best is I have no idea what I'm doing. So these lights apparently do jack all to light up the room. That is not how these lights work in real life. They would actually light up stuff. Come on. Let's get some more lights. Let's get on like, um, let's get like these. Oh, wow. That's, that is, uh, some depressing lighting right there. I mean, well, no one ever said it was going to be cushy, did they? Uh, although it has lit up the place quite nicely. Well, I say nicely. Nicely is relative. Uh, in terms of it being lit up to a decent amount. Yes, it is nice. In terms of it actually looking nice, no. No, it is not. It looks horrendous. Uh, a fire extinguisher could be a good idea. Because, like, a bomb comes in and they're like, Oh, God, we need to uh, need to put out the fire that the bomb has caused. And have an uh, ex evacuation sign just in case uh, in case the power goes out and they need to uh, buy the way out. Although, why would that... If the power was out, that wouldn't work. So that makes no sense. That makes no sense what I just said. So you can feel free to ignore that. Uh, how about some steel beams for added uh, added stability? Makes sense. It's also covering up the light. I guess I'll put it there and there. There you go. Make them black to blend in a little bit. That's beautiful. I, I do love the look of that sort of <laughs> that back storeroom. I just wish I just wish there was actually more items to put on it. Like, I mean, I could go into the debug menu, but even then, like, there's not that much really that can uh, be relevant to place on these shelves. Put some more stuff on the floor, I guess. And what about, uh, oh, yeah, I was thinking, what about lockers, actually? I was like, maybe you could have, like, lockers in here. But I don't know where you put them. I guess you could have them like, against... Yes, just there or something. Because that works. I'm pretty sure you can actually walk in that area. Not 100% on that, but we can test it out in a second. I'm pretty sure Sims can walk past that. So we can get like some lockers in there so you can put your clothes, store your clothes for the winter. I don't know why it would be for the winter, but... <laughs> well, for the winter of our discontent, I guess. Out of barrel, this is like a barrel of water or something. In case the water pipes stop working. Yeah, it's also a barrel of uh, contaminated... Uh, you know... Nuclear waste, but, you know, that, uh, that's something we don't worry about here. How about an old-timey camera for old-timey pictures, just in case. Just in case all modern technology ceases to work and they need some old-timey pictures. This is supposed to be like a food store cupboard, but uh, it kind of just turned into, hey, whatever fits on the shelves, we're putting it in. Uh, why won't, I want to put stuff on the top of the shelf. Game, let me do it. Come on. Come on, Ozzy, come on. We can do a baseball bat on the fence. Da da. Da 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 da. There you go. Yeah, a little bit of a baseball bat. Nice little decoration. Uh, how about a duffel bag of cash in case, you know, just in case um, they get robbed, the rest of the house, and they need money, emergency money. Computer hard drive. That makes no sense. I mean, then, does any of the stuff we're putting here make sense? Like a blueprint? What the hell is that in there for? <laughs> That's the plans to the, uh, the city bank in case they want to heist it. Some gold bars for insurance reasons and I don't know. There you go. I mean, I'm pretty happy with that. We, we can make it a little bit more homely. Not too homely though. Just a little bit more homely. Let's have a look. Oh, we could, oh, actually we could do like metal grates in here. That's actually a good idea. Like, at least in this, just in this back part, I think. So if it gets wet or something, it'd like drain out. Yeah, I like that. Uh, I didn't actually change the flooring in here, but I'm not going to now. But then out here can be out here it can be a little bit more homely, you know. It's a, it's a nice place to be. How about like a some of those puzzle mat flooring? That actually this is actually like one place where it kind of makes sense. It's like so that rubber flooring just for a little bit of grip, a little bit of slip resistance. There you go. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm happy with that. Uh, let me just check if we can. Uh, can we can we go in there? Yeah, he can he can get around the lockers. That's all good. All right, get out of the, get out of the bomb shelter. That's only for emergencies. Okay, so we've built a bomb shelter. I mean, in case the day uh, comes where the Sims team adds in a war expansion pack, and your houses can get destroyed, or or maybe a Minecraft expansion pack with creepers or something, then uh, then we're good. I mean, there's the door to the bomb shelter. Let's go in. 
You got everything you need to survive in here. Uh, you got your, your fridge. Uh, there's no bin. Actually, I still got to do that. <laughs> I'll, I'll literally do that in just a second. You got the, the, they got the kitchen area. So you got a fridge. You get unlimited bowls of cereal. Uh, and you can sit down to dine with your finest uh, of friends. You can also put out any fires that may happen. Uh, you can do a little bit of woodworking to keep yourself sane. You know, sit down and relax. Just have a, have a good time. Sit down. No TVs, of course. It's, it's post-apocalyptic, apparently. Or, or bombs. Uh, have a nice sleep on the beautiful bed. Uh, with a nice side table. Uh, read a good book. Or the good book. Uh, go to the toilet. Uh, wash your hands. All that kind of good stuff. And then in case you want to get some more stuff from the storeroom out back. Because you're running low on supplies. Just d duck in here. And you can get uh, some extra cookies or cereal. Or some tissues or gardening tools. Or, you, or, you know, uh, supporting equipment. Or a duffel bag of cash. A blueprint. Gold bars. All the kind of usual stuff you would expect to find in a... Uh, in a bomb shelter, because that all makes sense to me. Ah, uh, yeah. But anyways, guys, the download to this is in the description. You can click on the link there or search for it on the gallery with hashtag the sim supply. But there it is. Uh, actually, I was about to wrap it up, but before I do, before I forget entirely, because I was about to, let's just chuck in the bin in. A post-apocalyptic bin at that. Probably just, probably just a regular bin, to be perfectly honest. Just sneaking in there. Yeah. There you go. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. And have an awesome day.